watching Fox at 10. All the hopes and dreams that I have, you know, died that day. Her world was shattered in an instant. The young Twin Cities woman who survived a roadside bomb, she to was told she would never walk again, but almost exactly one year after that tragedy, she is back home telling her story to our Scott Wasserman. Scott joins us now. Scott, this young lady simply trying to visit her father when all this happened. You know, she is a remarkable young woman. Nimco was just trying to visit her father for the first time in more than 10 years. Nimco fled Ethiopia and came to the States in 2006 looking for a better life. Just 30 minutes away from getting to her dad's home in Ethiopia, a bomb exploded under her vehicle, changing her life forever. It makes me cry every time I look there. As Nimka looks back at her life this past year, To be honest, I never thought it would be life. She can't help but smile, knowing she is finally able to tell her story. I did not, you know, sleep really until I came back to Minnesota. January 17, 2013 in Ethiopia, near the Somali border, Nimka was just 30 minutes from seeing her father when it happened. Bomb explorer under the car. You know, the bomb happened, it threw me, you know, very far away. So it break my spine. I tried to stand up, I cannot stand up. And then I tried to, you know, to move, I cannot move. They told me, you cannot walk again, never, you will never walk again. Nimko not only suffered a broken spine, but also numerous burns to her arms and legs. At the hospital in Ethiopia, three doctors from around the world treated her, including an American. Where would you be without these doctors? I will not be their life to tell you through if they weren't there. And two months after being injured, Nimco took her first steps on March 10th. Finally walking was like the whole world starting again, you know. Ten days later, the smile at the airport says it all as she flew back to Minnesota. I was like thinking, oh, well, finally I will be home. In Minnesota, she spent three more months in the hospital recovering until she finally returned home for good in June. But every time she looks down at her scars, she is angry, angry at those who did this and those who helped finance it. You know, it changed my life and also, you know, innocent people, the lady who was um, sitting next to me lost her leg. And there was a two-year-old, you know, who lost his life there and my uncle too died there. For Nimco, who once thought her dreams were shattered, she knows she has much to look forward to. When I was in the bed, that was I was thinking, maybe I will never become a teacher. But now, you know, getting my feet back, and I, I think one day I will become a teacher. So that's my hope. And the road from recovery is far from over for Nimco. She is expected to undergo more surgeries this summer. For now, doctors are limiting her school to two days a week, but she is hoping to go back full time as soon as possible to get that teaching degree. Oh, Thank what, you, Randy. What a lovely lady. We yep. hope she's able to do all that. Thank you, Scott.